Give me a happy marriage. That prayer cannot be answered. I'm not causing anybody. The prayer can only be answered when you have done what you should do. God will not do. You can't ask God in prayer to do what he has already commanded you to do. At the early stage, it will look like, what is he doing? So when Isaac chose to stay in Gera, they laughed at him and said, ah, oh, beloved this is where you want to rot. David too stood out. Everybody carries sword. David carried five stone and one catapult. They laugh at him that this is suicide mission. But at the end of the day, who laughed last? If David had been that kind of person who doesn't like to be different, he will succumb to carrying sword and he will be killed. You become a prey in the hand of Goliath. You will be a prey in the marketplace. You will be a prey in your business and career. Whether you accept it or not, every time we go to work, it's like a battlefield. Some people end as prey. Some people end as victors. I like the way the king of uh, Dubai painted it in his book. He said, life is like jungle. Where everybody is always running. He said, and the fastest runner is the survivor. And if you look at jungle in the recent, lion will need to run to eat. If he can't run, he can't eat. Because no animal will just wait for him. And say, you are lion, just come. No, every, every animal, including snail, will make an attempt. He said, if you can't run, is it that you are eating up or you don't have anything to eat. So in the jungle, everybody is on the run. It's a race. The fastest is the one that thrives. I prophesy from today, Monday to Friday, you will never be a prey. You will always be a victim. So David carried five stones. They laughed at him. He was comfortable. Please, at this beginning of exceptionality, it will look like insanity. So the people will laugh at you. At the beginning, it will look like insanity. CNN is one of the most powerful TV stations in the world today. 100% news television. Have you ever had that before? Let me tell you, when CNN started, they despised CNN. They said it would be boring. They said nobody will watch it. News, 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 news. They said, no, it can't work. Most of those who despise and criticize CNN, they are mimicking CNN now. Don't let people talk you out of your dream. People will always judge things based on their level of understanding. Are you following me? People will always judge things based on the level. Don't let people say, ah, that thing you want to, the way you want to do it, call they walk. Please, until God says so, don't listen. Do your research properly. They told CNN, you'll be boring, nobody will watch you. you will ne- In fact, you can't get hard back because of that, it will run down. Today, the biggest TV station in the whole wide world, if you're counting three, you should count CNN, if it's not even number one. Do they change, their, do they change to blend with others? They remain unique, and their uniqueness sold them out. And today, if you want news, the first place you think about is CNN. Am I making sense to you? So if you succumb to laughter, to mockery, you are giving up what will lift you. Don't give up what will lift you. Most of those who despise CNN at inception are now rushing to mimic them. If you are going to succeed, you have to stand out. And if you are going to stand out, you have to break out of tradition and norms and common trends. You have to break out of what everybody is doing. You have to be deliberate about how you do your things. Are you following me? To the glory of God, we, are, we, are, we have not gone anywhere yet. We're still trying to move as a church. But one of the things that has helped us is our, is our we, we, we are very deliberate. We have mentors, we have fathers in faith. We learn from them, but we don't throw away our uniqueness. Hmm? If you throw away what makes you you, you have lost 75% of yourself. 
Somebody said, every time you try to be like somebody else, you have to trade away 75% of what makes you unique. And the best of that person you can be is number two. Why will you settle for number two for the rest of your life? When you can be number one of yourself. When you can win your own race and win your own battle. And set your own pace. And be a frontliner. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Am I making sense to you? I have respect for my mentors. I have respect for my fathers. I have respect for everyone that I've heard of me. I learn a lot from them. But I am very careful. I don't try to be exactly like them. Because every time you try to be exactly like somebody else, you lose 75% of yourself. Ah, if I lose 75%, what is left? Just 25%? That is not enough. I prophesy. In the name that is above every name, somebody will leave this meeting and begin to fly. Whatever you are doing at the moment, we gain speed. Wherever you are at the moment, you will gain speed. By this spiritual divine principle, I decree and I declare, you will find yourself among the eagles. In the name that is above every name from today, you will not be a backbencher. You will be a frontliner. I decree, the Bible says in Ezekiel, he said, when he speak to me, the spirit entered into me. As I am speaking to you, the spirit of excellence is entering into you. Oh, I said the spirit of excellence is coming upon you. I decree and I declare as you walk with this understanding in the name of Jesus and you prayerfully consider how to stand out in every area of your life, you will, you will become great. You will become great. The first time I listened to Sinaj, she was not known by anybody. I entered somebody's car and they played the cassette. It was cassette then. And that was her first album. And I listened to the song. I listened to the wordings. I said, is she a Nigerian? They said, yes. As at that time, nobody sing that kind of song. Everybody tried to sing a Nujo. You know, they say, if you have to, you have to, that you have to sing like the people of the world so that people can buy you. I told the person that was carrying me in his car, I said, this woman is going to, <laughs> if this is what she continues to sing, she's going to make a mark. She's the first Nigerian to be where, first African gospel artist to be where she is at the moment. If you will hold tightly to what makes you unique, you will break boundaries. You will break records. Where nobody has ever been in your vocation, you will be there. You're not saying amen at all. As you allow God lead you step by step in 2021, I decree and declare, you become a global champion. You become a global voice. Anything you are doing at the moment that looks small, I command the spirit of greatness to come upon them. The spirit of God that knows everything and teaches everything. He will teach you how to stand out. He will instruct you on how to stand out. He will guide you to stand out. He will guide you to stand out. You will not be difficult to be noticed. It will be easy to notice your product. It will be easy to notice your service. It will be easy to notice you as a place of assignment. Integrity will distinguish you. Excellence will distinguish you. Courage will distinguish you. I say courage will distinguish you. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, wherever you find yourself, even as a student or anywhere you go, you will stand out. People will confess and testify that you are outstanding. In the name of Jesus, you won't suffer for attention. You won't struggle for attention. Exceptionality is self-advertised. You'll be self-advertised. Oh, you'll be self-announced. You'll be, you'll be supernaturally announced. Whatever you are doing at the moment, I stand, this is, this is very prophetic. All eyes closed, all heads bow. Whatever you are doing at the moment, as you practice this principle within the next 40 days, I decree supernatural breakthroughs. As you practice this principle in 2021, you will have outstanding success. Your achievement this year will be greater than you have ever had. You won't struggle to succeed. Your days of struggles are over. Your days of struggles are over. If you have ever struggled before, you will struggle no more. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, whatever is trying to limit you, I command the limitation broken. Every barrier destroyed. 
every limitation I command them to give way. I release upon, lift up your two hands wherever you are. I release upon your hand and the works of your hand the spirit of excellence. When you offer your service to those companies or those clients, they will always look out for you. When you walk anywhere, they will never want to lose you. The people that are superior to you in your workplaces, they will, they will admire you. You will have favor before them. It's our month of favor unlimited. Before your superior, you enjoy supernatural favor. Before your contemporaries, you enjoy supernatural favor. Before your subordinates, you enjoy supernatural favor. If you're in business, before your competitors, you enjoy supernatural favor. Before your competitors, you enjoy supernatural favor. Before your clients and customers, you enjoy supernatural favor. As you learn to speak the truth and walk in integrity, integrity will be a springboard for you. It will take you to places you have never been. So shall it be. Wave your hands and give him all the glory and all the praise. Say, Father, thank you because I'm leaving this place standing out with integrity, with excellence, with righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. All eyes are closed. All let's bow. I have a very strong prophetic word for somebody here. Somebody is here. You are going to find help. It's a financial help. You, you are going to find a strange financial support. I don't know who I'm talking to. A, a strange financial support for the work of your hands. A kind of help, financial help, that will catapult what you are doing to the top. Amen. It will shoot you from where you are currently to where you ought to be. Amen. I don't know who exactly I'm talking to, but I declare if it is God who spoke, he is not a man that he should lie. You know, the son of man that he should repent. As he spoke, will he not do it? Radish, telipa, kotoshi, telia, and the hasta, malia, koshi, telia. Whoever this word is meant for. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That help will find you. You will say 2021 is your defining year. If you are that person, wave your hands and give God praise if you believe in it. I receive it. It's mine. I receive it, it's mine. I receive it, it's mine. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray.